According to an article published by CNN on August 7, 2023, the United States has given the go-ahead for the first delivery of M1A1 Abrams tanks to be sent to Ukraine. The tanks received shipment approval over the weekend, and according to Army Acquisition Chief Doug Bush's statement on the same day, they are scheduled to arrive in Ukraine during the early autumn period. The tanks, which consist of older M1A1 models due to their faster availability compared to the more modern A2 version, will be accompanied by a range of supplies including ammunition, spare parts, fuel equipment, and repair facilities, reflecting the comprehensive nature of this deployment. In a previous report by the Army Recognition Editorial Team on July 28, 2023, it was noted that the tanks are projected to reach Ukraine in the early fall season. The timeline includes the transfer of a select number of Abrams tanks to Germany for final refurbishment in August, followed by their transportation to Ukraine in the subsequent month. This represents a specific timeframe for the introduction of the main American battle tank. In an effort to protect sensitive plans, six sources, including Defense Department officials, U.S. authorities, industry insiders, congressional aides, and other individuals familiar with the discussions, have been granted anonymity, according to a report by Politico. The decision by the U.S. government to provide these tanks aligns with its commitment to enhance Ukraine's defensive capabilities and offer support for its ongoing counteroffensive efforts. Currently, Ukrainian forces are facing well-fortified Russian positions stretched over a considerable front line. The introduction of Abrams tanks is anticipated to provide added firepower to aid in navigating these fortified lines. The initial shipment is expected to consist of six to eight tanks, with the ultimate plan involving a total of 31 tanks, equivalent to the strength of a Ukrainian battalion. However, before Ukrainian forces can effectively utilize these tanks, they are required to complete a training program that spans approximately 10 weeks, utilizing 31 trainer tanks stationed at Germany's Grafenwehr base. Ukrainian troops are projected to complete their training by August. Despite the optimistic outlook for the tank's potential arrival in Ukraine as early as August, uncertainties persist due to the refurbishment process, which includes the removal of sensitive technologies, such as classified depleted uranium armor, from the older vehicles. Efforts are underway through collaboration between the US and its European allies to establish comprehensive maintenance and repair facilities. These facilities are integral for the maintenance of the Abrams tanks and other heavy armor intended for Ukraine. This cooperative endeavor is designed to provide training for Ukrainian personnel, ensuring proper repairs and a consistent supply of spare parts, contributing to the long-term enhancement of Ukraine's military capabilities. The imminent arrival of the Abrams tanks is expected to provide an advantage to Ukraine's military operations, particularly in the contested southern and eastern regions. Here, Ukrainian forces are striving to identify vulnerabilities in the Russian defensive lines. Despite the challenge posed by heavily fortified Russian positions along the extensive front line, Ukrainian forces remain steadfast in their determination to regain control of territory and continue with their counteroffensive efforts.